Hello everyone, this is Jason for Primetime Aquatics and in this video I want to take a look at two of my favorite tanks and that is the 40 Breeder and the 33 Long. They are right behind me on this wall. I want to compare them, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each and see which one comes out on top. If you have a preference, if you've used these tanks before, I would love to hear your opinion down in the comments section below. So when it comes to both of these tanks, they are both awesome. A lot of times when I do a comparison, I really like one over the other, but in this particular case, I love them both for slightly different reasons. Now let's talk about some of the details. Our 40 gallon breeder. You're getting something that is 36 inches long by about 18 and a half inches wide and about 17 inches tall. So this is a great size tank. Now the 33 long is a little bit different in that you're getting a four foot tank. So it's about 48 to 48 and a half inches long. It's only 12 and a half to 12 and three quarter inches wide. And when it comes to the height, it's only about 13 and a quarter to 13 and a half inches tall. And again, I'm giving you a little bit of a range because it depends on the manufacturer, but that 33 long is roughly the same length and width as a 55 gallon, it's just shorter, which can provide a lot of advantages as we're gonna talk about here in a few minutes. Before we go on, I actually did a video about how there is more to a tank size than just its volume. I'm gonna put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. It goes into a lot more detail about some of the things we're gonna talk about here, but definitely something to consider watching. Now, when it comes to the 40 breeder, I really like the overall size. And what's interesting is when you start doing the calculations, when you look at the footprint of the tank, even though it's only a three foot tank, it has more of a footprint, more surface area on the bottom than our 33 long and even a 55 gallon, given that they're both the same length and width. So we're looking at roughly around 660 square inches for the 40 breeder. When it comes to the 33 long and even a 55 gallon for that matter, the footprint is smaller. When you, when you multiply the length times the width, you're only getting around 618 to 620 square inches. So the 40 breeder is gonna give you a little bit more space on the bottom. Why is that important? For those of you who are keeping cichlids, the more area that you have on the bottom of the tank, often the less problems you're gonna have. You're gonna have more space for each of the fish to call their own. Now the 33 gallon long does have some advantages as well. It has that extra foot in length. And that means if you're keeping fish that are schooling fish or they're really active, like maybe you've got some tetras or for us, we've got Cyprochromus leptosoma. Now they're in a 40 gallon, but they'd probably do even better in a four foot tank where they have a little bit more swimming space. So there's an advantage of having that extra foot in length. Now something else you may wanna consider when it comes to aqua escaping your tanks, you're going to have a little bit more options when it comes to the 40 gallon breeder. Yes, it's a foot shorter, but you're getting that extra depth. So that extra six inches can make a big difference when you're aquascaping stuff and you're putting rocks in and plants to really get that nice full look. Not only that, but because the 40 gallon breeder is a little bit taller, you now have the option to put in taller plants and to really make a more dynamic aquascape than a 33 long is going to get you. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to think about is fish tank maintenance. Both of these tanks are relatively easy to maintain, but I would say I would give the advantage to the 33 long because it is shorter. And the shorter the tank is, the easier it's going to be to maintain. So whether that's scraping algae or planting plants or doing gravel vac or just getting in there and doing some rearranging, the shorter the tank, the easier it's going to be. So I would give the advantage to the 33 long in that respect. Now for us, we have some special considerations when it comes to how we choose our fish tank sizes. Now, We've got three 33 longs behind us, but we also have eight 40 gallon breeders. Why did we choose the 40 gallon breeders? Well, one, I really like that size for breeding fish. I like the depth. I like the way that it can be aquascaped. The other thing I really like about it is because it's only three feet long, on the other side of the fish room, we were able to put six 40 gallon breeders on that wall. Now, when it comes to the 33 long, it's shorter. The advantage for us is that you can stack those tanks a little bit higher. Now, I, again, I recognize for a lot of you, this may not be an overwhelming type of consideration you have to make, but for us it is. And I like the fact behind me that we can stack the 33 longs three high instead of two like the 40 gallon breeders. However, when you're looking at overall wall space, this is something you might wanna consider if, you have a, if you're not in a fish room, you just have a house where you wanna put a fish tank, the 40 gallon breeder only takes up three feet of space 
where the 33 long is gonna take up four feet. So you've got something to think about there in terms of overall wall space. The other thing you wanna consider is the equipment that's going on the tanks. This can be where money really starts to add up. So let's take a look at the 40 breeder. It's three feet long. What that means for us is on the eight tanks that we have, only two of them have multiple filters and they're really just there in case we need to take that cycled sponge filter and put it into a new tank. But in my opinion, the 40 breeders, because they're only three feet, you could still easily get away with one filter, whether that's a hang in the back filter or a sponge filter. And either way, I feel very comfortable with just one filter. Now with the 33 longs, we're dealing with a four foot tank. So when it comes to filtration, I really like to have two types of filtration on a four foot tank. Whether that's two smaller hang on the back filters or two sponge filters, that four foot length, if you only have a filter on one end of the tank, the other side is gonna have dead spots. There's gonna be spots where detritus accumulates, where there's not a lot of water flow. As a result, you may even have more algae. So in my opinion, with a four foot tank, it's really important to have proper water flow and make sure that I've got filtration on either side of the tank. So for filtration, it might actually be more expensive to filter the 33 long compared to the 40 breeder. That being said, you are going to save significant amounts of money with a 33 long in other aspects when it comes to equipment. One, I've already mentioned the 33 long is the same length and width as a 55 gallon. That's huge because when it comes to fish tank lids, anything that fits on a 55 can go on a 33 long. And what's nice is if you have a 20 gallon tank, that's basically half the length of a 55 or a 33. So those lids fit very nicely. So the lids are super easy to find. The other thing to consider is the stand. It's gonna be much, much easier to find a stand that will fit a 33 long compared to a 40 breeder. Yes, there are lots of stands out there for 40 breeders, but they actually tend to be more money because it's a more unusual size. You've got a three foot by 18 inch stand that's not as common as a 55 gallon, which is one of the most common tanks out there. So the stands are gonna be easy to find and they will fit your 33 long just fine. Now, another thing to consider is the lights. Now it's always more expensive to get a four foot light compared to a three foot light. So the 33 gallon long, at least initially, seems like it's gonna be more expensive to light that tank. However, the 40 gallon breeder is taller and it's wider. And what that means is you're probably gonna want a higher quality light on a 40 breeder compared to what you can get away with with such a short 33 long. So in that respect, you might be at a wash, especially if you're dealing with a planted tank, you might want a stronger light because the 40 gallon breeder is deeper and wider. All right, so the other thing that you're gonna to wanna to think about are stocking options for both the 40 gallon breeder and the 33 long. And I think they're very similar. We have done stocking options videos on everything from a two and a half gallon up to a 55. And I think almost everything we suggest for any of those tanks would work well in a 40 breeder or a 33 long, provided that you've got the number of fish correct. Now, of course, the advantage with that 33 long, like I've already mentioned, if you're gonna be doing more schooling fish, maybe that would be a better option. If you're gonna be breeding cichlids or keeping more cichlids, maybe the 40 gallon breeder would be something you'd wanna consider a little bit more but when it comes to stocking, I think you can do pretty much the same fish in either one of those tanks. And finally, what is the actual cost of the tank itself? This is where the 40 breeder can have a significant advantage. When they're not on sale, they're gonna run you about $90. When the dollar per gallon sale comes around, they're usually about 50% off. So you could walk out with a 40 breeder for somewhere around $45 to $50. The 33 lawns are a lot harder to come by. They're a lot more unusual. And so therefore, often they have to be special ordered. And when they are, they're usually gonna be somewhere around $120. At least that's what they are in my area. So they're gonna be more expensive even when they're not on sale. And that's just something to consider. All right, everyone, I would love to hear from you again. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you like better in terms of the look? Which one would you rather have if you could only pick one fish tank? Leave that in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.